guys, it's Dr. Awesome here. I am not in my office of many computers. I'm actually at a location right now. It's actually my grandparents, my grandpa and his wife, Judy. Uh, this is actually his home theater and his studio. I don't know if you can see the uh, big light here, the umbrella. And then of course, this is the projector screen. It's actually just a uh, paint. It's a flat paint, so it's not reflective for the projector, which is just right there mounted. And yeah, we'll uh, set up a brand new receiver. It's a Sony and we'll take it from there. So here is the Sony receiver that they have chosen. Uh, excellent receiver. It's not the top of the line, but it's also not the lowest. It's kind of a good mid tier. And for what they need, it's more than enough. Um, this guy was from Best Buy. It was $349 on sale. And then as well, they chose the four-year protection plan with Geek Squad. So if anything goes wrong, they just get a replacement or their money back. So they have chosen the Sony STR HD 590. Beautiful, beautiful looking unit. Reason they went with Sony is actually because their old unit right here is also a Sony and it was really good. It lasted them, I would say, maybe 17 years. Like it's early 2000 for sure, so that's pretty amazing. It was one of the top of the line units at the time, so yeah. So with their new unit, we actually, it's a 5.2 channel, 145 watts for the five channels. It's got four HDMI input and one output with arc for the TV or projector. In this case, we're going with a projector. It's got Dolby Vision compatibility, which is pretty cool. It's got Bluetooth. I think it's to control it as well. Play your music, all that fun stuff. And it's got S-Force Pro front surround. So that's very cool. We won't be using that because we actually do have surround speakers installed. I do apologize about the whole folks that is actually from the old projector setup, but we'll go over that later. So they have high res audio, 4K HDR, 60p, Bluetooth, the Dolby audio. So very, very cool very nice system indeed so let's take a look inside so this is it guys we got the remote power cord which is embedded on here we got the battery the fm antenna and then the wiring to do the uh audio can calibration which mm, I don't really do that so let's uh, take a look at this this beauty shall we so manuals all the fun stuff uh, we're gonna keep that because the owners love to keep this stuff for uh, records and just in case you know they want to know anything it's in the book but really they're just going to call me to ask anyway so no worries i love that stuff so don't need the box don't need all the styrofoam it's actually four pieces that's very different but normally it's like two big pieces on each side and that's it so here it is it's nicely tagged with some paper oh got uh, instructions on how to connect the speakers. I know how to do that, pretty straightforward. Our cabling. So, you know, we'll just give you guys a look here, shall we? So, there's the front, it's beautiful. We got the input selector, volume control, pure direct, Bluetooth dimmer display. Night mode, music, movie, two channel, multi, the tuning, tuning mode, speakers, power, headphones, and calibration mic. Again, we're not gonna be touching any of that. And 
for the back. Here is the back. We got our HDMI's. It does give us so we could say, you know, media box, Blu-ray, DVD, cable box, game system, TV. Yeah, we won't need that many. We're only going to need one or two. If they get more stuff, we can add it. But we've got our surround speakers here, center, uh, front, left, and right, and our subs here. Could have two subs, so that's pretty cool. We got our old jacks here, which we're not even going to look at those. Just ignore those. And of course, we got our digital optic, which for this setup, we won't need. So pretty cool. Yeah. This is what they currently have. It's a, what is this guy for you guys? It's an STR DG510. As you see, it just doesn't uh, like to turn on. It makes a sound when it wants to, but it just won't power up. That's kind of what was happening yesterday. They were watching something. It just went dark. Uh, their Talus box is still powered on. It's still going. Um, Oh, now it's on. Now it's off. Yeah, we'll be replacing that since she uh, hit her lifespan. So, yeah, let's uh, get it unhooked and take a look and see what's going on. Got our lovely TELUS box, which I see the TELUS guy put on the plug. Don't like that, so we're going to move over to the power bar, so we'll deal with that. I'm just going to unplug it because, again, a lot of deal. It is connected through Ethernet. I did install Ethernet. Don't know if you can see that wall there, but yeah. Won't need the audio optic because we'll just need the HDMI. That's it. And of course, our lovely HDMI. And that there. Again. It could be a fuse, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, you know, it just makes no sense. But you know, maybe when I'll bring it home, I will try and see if it's a fuse. This is their beautiful receiver. I am actually gonna install it on this table because I don't like it balancing on the sub. And I see because of that, it has gouged the top of the sub, which is disappointing, but not a big deal. All right, guys, so we're gonna hook up the new receiver. All the equipment, here's our Talus box right there. We're gonna just sit it on top. Uh, I'm not gonna worry because it's not in a cabinet. It's not gonna get overheated. So we're just gonna let it sit there and be all happy. Just plug that guy in because that will help. Hard to power things up without power. Hey guys, uh, so right now I am just wiring everything up. I have the Talus box using this giant HDMI cable temporarily until I get a shorter one, but this long cable will actually so they can plug in their laptop or a future all-in-one that I'm gonna put on that desk. But for right now, I'm just gonna use this long cable to plug in the cable box into the receiver via the SAT slash cable HDMI port and what this guy is, is a TELUS Wi-Fi access point that we are going to be also installing so they have additional high speed internet and full coverage in their home. There is one of these upstairs in the office, of course, hardwired. This one will also be hardwired, but will be connected with a switch. So we have the access point, the Talus box all hardwired on Ethernet because of course I don't like Wi-Fi. So we'll get that done. Um, the way I have these set up is it mirrors everything from the router. So the server system we use, which is Genesis Systems, will run on this. Once I plug it in, the router will detect it and say, oh, it's not set up and we'll set it up with the Genesis systems, Wi-Fi and everything.
so this place that I am in, guys, is the studio and office for governancematters.com, Incorporated. It is a company that deals with churches and other companies for their boards about working together and collaboration. So pretty cool. If you guys are looking for that or know anyone or work in a place with such needs, go to governancematters.com and check it out. So everything is connected. You got all the wires in, all the cables are on. I actually snipped all the wires down, just kind of reset them so they're fresh and clean. The one wire for the sub, just gonna have it here out of the way. Let's move everything into place and get it power on and test it out. Yeah. So there it is. It's got power, looks beautiful. Sat cable TV for the TV box or switch. And that looks beautiful. And we'll see what it looks like on the projector. Let's just turn the lights down. So, by the way, this is our lovely projector. Not the most high end, but it works. It is an RCA projector. It is 1080p. It's got its ports. There it is. The mounting was brilliant. That is our mount. There it is. I did have to custom rate this mount. You can see somewhere, oh yes, down in there, I had to add some bolts and some spacers to lower the projector to be the right length and height for the screen. There you go, glad it works. It looks beautiful. Wires are ran beautifully in the wall. That is the result of the old setup, which was a Toshiba, which was pretty awful, but worked for the job. And they got a nice upgrade, so pretty exciting. There we go, Talus, that's a good sign. There we go, we'll just wait for it to reconnect. Well, we do know for a fact that the Sony unit is providing the video, which is excellent because the TELUS box is going through the receiver. Let's grab the remote. There it is. We have sound. We've seen and covered it. So call 1-800-FARMERS and get a quote today. We are farmers. Hey, so I found a video. Here's a great video. Let's check it out and see how it is. Sounds pretty good. Looks fantastic. Do have pretty good sound. And the picture is fantastic. I am sorry it is doing CNN with stuff about Trump. So I won't torture you with that. But uh, that's that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a lot. I certainly did. Um, there will be a future video with the upgrades to this home theater. But for now... Enjoy and talk to you later. See you next time.